Hey Naku here, welcome to OB Studios. In today's video, we are going to demonstrate how to make this text ripple effect using motion page. All right, so let's go, um, let's go into our back end. This is our back end. I already have a text like this already done. So what I am going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to just duplicate, um, I'm going to duplicate this section. And when the section is duplicated, I'm going to remove everything that's inside and we just want to start again. All right. Um, let's, let me change the background for this to a different color. So it doesn't look all that the same. So that is done. Next thing that I am going to do is I'm going to put a div inside the section. So the div is what is going to hold the text that we are going to apply the effects on. So div is in the section. I am going to add a header text. Um, with a header text, we're going to give it um, text review, or you can put whatever name that you want to put there. But I am using text review, so that is good for me. Um, I am I'm using right now the build that I'm using is quickly. So this is how it is done in quickly. I'm going to choose this font and change this one to let's say 128 i want to make it as big as i can so i have this text i'm going to change um the class name to txt rev dash one i'm going to copy that so that is done this text is going to be this color i'm not going to change anything else probably one more thing i'm going to change the um the line height to one em right after that i'm going to right click on it and then duplicate it so the next text come underneath like that so this text that has been duplicated i'm going to come here paste the old class and change the um the name a little bit so it's a bit different all right so that is done that is totally saved next thing that we want to do is i'm going to click on the div and then i'm going to go to layout in the layout section i'm going to look for position for position i'm going to make sure that the position of the div is relative you need the position of the div to be relative so that when we get to positioning the text when the text becomes absolute it will be absolute to the relative div not to probably the section or something else so make sure that your div is in a relative position that is good when you do that we're going to go into visual and then we're going to make sure that our overflow is also hidden so that when the text goes away, you don't see it floating around on the other side. So that is good. After that is done, we are going to come to our very first text. Let's call this text text one and then double click here and give this one text two. All right. So with this first text, which is text one, um, you can go back into layout when you're in design layout. In this layout, you're going to look back into position and for position, you want to make sure that this has a position of absolute. So when you position the absolute, this is what is going to happen. It's going to disappear, but make sure you still selected text one. And then you can go into visuals or oh, still in position. Sorry. So in visuals, you're going to make sure that the, um, the bottom is zero, but since the, uh, the whole text is within a certain frame size yeah, you don't really have to change this on to bottom you can just leave it like that but maybe you might be using something else you might be using a different dev and you might want to also do this so you can bring this one all the way down because that um the top text the text number one is going to go down and then when we hover on this div the tag uh sorry the text number two is going to go up and text number one is going to reveal itself so that is how um the whole rip, uh, ripple effects happens text number one is down below and text number two is up top when we hover or when you scroll or whatever way that you want the animation to happen as soon as the animation or as soon as the trigger happens the text that is not hidden which is text number two goes up and then text number one reveals itself 
and we are going to use um, split text so that it will look a bit uh, much more smoother than just a normal this text goes away and the other text reveals itself. So after we have done all the things that we need to make sure this is an absolute position and stuff like that, I'm just going to update this and that should be fine. Now we are going to go into motion page. So I'm going to click here and go back and then I have a motion page already installed. So I'm just going to click um, the name for the page that we're working on is text flow. So I'm going to click on motion page. And then I have um, a few more like timelines over here. So I'm going to create a new timeline and this timeline, let's call it text reveal. That is good. And the page that we're working on is called text flow. So now everything is done and we are working on this section. We are not working on this one. So you can see that it's already happening here, but we are going to recreate it using this. All right. So when you are in here, uh, for me, what I'm trying to do is a hover effect. So I'm going to choose hover for the trigger. Maybe you might want to use something else. You can use page load, you can use page exit. You can use um, a scroll trigger. I am going to use hover. So that is what I, I am doing. I've chosen hover and that is good. The next thing that I want to do is I want to select text number on the text that is hidden. Now, first we want to choose the text that is available, which is this one, right? So what we are going to do is this text, when we click on it, you can see that this is text number one, text number one is showing because it's the one that is on top. When we did the overflow, this text came on top of it. So we can just make sure that when we select it, that will be the very first text. So what we are going to do is we are going to say that the position of text number one should be down beneath. So let's start, let's give this one like 20%. So you see when we give it um, 20% it's going down. So when I hover, you can see that it's coming up. But 20% is not what we want. We want it to go all the way in. So we can start at 100% and see where it is going to be at. Um, let me remove the hover. So you can see that it is all the way in the bottom. And when you hover on it, sometimes the life is not working. So it comes up, it goes away. And that is how it works. All right. So we've done the very first thing. The next thing that we want to do is we want it to be, you know, when we go back over here, it feels like one text comes after the other and it pushes what is here up. So we want to apply a split text. So still on our text number one. So I'm going to go to split text and make this into character. And for character, I want to make sure, yeah, we just want to choose character for that. After that, we are going to make sure that it comes one after the other. To do that, we are going to use a stagger. So for stagger, let's choose something um, in between like 0 0.05 um, of a second. We're going to use a start and then we're going to save it. And this is okay. We're going to fix it. All right. So the next thing that I am going to do is to make sure that I have I am going to create a new node. So we are going to animate um, the second and the text that is um, behind it, which is a text reveal, the one that is behind. So let me make sure that I go in and select this. And you can see it's still showing um, that text. We need text number two. Where's text number two? Where's text number two? All right. So I cannot get text number two over here by clicking so i'm just going to type it in so that txt dash rev dash two all right i'm just going to click on enter they can see that that is the other text all right so what we want to do is when this text is coming up we want the text that is behind it to go up so what we're going to do is we're going to say that the translate here should be zero and then we go to the two and for the two, we want to make sure that this go up. So that is a negative hundred. So when we hover, you'll see that this one goes up and this one reveals itself. The next thing that we are going to do is we also want this one to be uh, a split text of character. And then we also want um, the stagger like that. Let's give it a stagger of six. 
Okay, let's go to the old one and see what's the stack that we chose. So five. So let's come here to make sure you select that two and then make this one also five. Let's just save it for convenience. All right, so you can see that we are almost there. All right, so next thing that we want to do is we want to make it a bit faster. To make it a bit faster, you don't have to touch the timeline. The timeline here is not going to change how fast this thing is going to work. But what we really want to do is we want to reduce this to a 0 0.2, a 0 0.0, 0 0.02. I think that is it. So like that. But yes, though, it's a bit too fast. So go back over here. Go into, we have this two. We're going to change this one to, let's say, a sigh. Go back over here, change this one also to a sigh. We're just going to bring this back a little bit to like two, um, point two percent. All right, so there's a two. Go back over here, go to the two. There's also a two, right? And all right, we just have to make sure that everything is the same. Can also put a side over here. Go back. So 100%. Start 0 0.02. Um, let's make this um, this small. All right. So that is good. It is coming out. Um, you can even reduce this even more. Go back to. Go back over here and then choose. Make this one also one. So, yeah, you can push this back if you want. You can tweak it for it to be what you really are looking for. We can change um, how the ease is. We can do, let's say, um, a back, right? Let's do a back ease and also go back over here. Look for um, the back ease. Where's the back ease? So you can also choose the back ease. Make sure you go back to the two and also change this one also to the back ease. You can save that and then you may go this a bit more faster very fast you can add other stuff um if you want to add um let's say a skill on the x axis let's say make a skill of um let's say one or 0 0.95 right you're not really going to see any change because this is really fast if this was a bit slower you might see most of the the other um, zoom and other uh, changes that you want. So, if you are looking to do a text uh, repeal that you might have seen online, this is how you achieve it using Motion Page. And as I said, you can go in and tweak um, where you want this to start. You can make it random. You can go over here to make this random. But random is not really pretty. So. Yeah, but apart from that, there are so many other things that you can add to this to make it more uh, fancy and for it to reveal your own character and how you want your site to be. So, um, thank you for watching. My name is Nyakon. This is Obi Studios. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel for more videos. Peace out.